Hello everyone, I'm the Viking General and this short video is about the Mori clan. Let's begin. The Mori clan start the campaign in the middle of the Nichikoku region. They are allied to the Oichi clan to the west and are at war with the Amako clan to the north. The Kakawa clan to the east initially have a friendly disposition, but they can easily turn against you. The Mori start with the Aki province, which has fertile soil and the hallowed ground specialty. However, it would be better if the Yara drill yard is replaced with the market as soon as possible. You can also use the hallowed grounds to recruit troops with better morale, since those will be of health, especially during the early game. During the later stage of the game, the rank bonus to the monks will be of increased value. The Mori, like all playable clans, have a few unique bonuses and units. They have cheaper and better ships, having more men, better morale, or both. On top of that, their navies also have increased movement range on the campaign map. But the more, they also have a unique unit called the Moriwaka Raiders. This unit has less armor and charge bonus compared to the Katana Samurai, but have almost double the base melee defense. They also have Vanguard deployment and are much cheaper to recruit and to maintain. The only thing holding them back is the military port building requirement, but it is worth the investment. So how to thrive as the Mori? Well, the most obvious route, expansion towards the east, is the least favorable. While the provinces aren't bad, you set yourself up to be sandwiched by the dominant clan from Kyushu and the dominant clan from the east of Japan. With that in mind, I always recommend the Mori to take Kyushu as soon as possible. The Kyushu region has almost everything you need. Very fertile lands, philosophical tradition, blacksmith, horses and craftswork. With the Mori, the naval tradition is also welcome. On top of that, the Kyushu region is also very close to all the trade nodes, making dominating trade relatively easy. You can take the Iwari and Izumo province from the Mako, and then vassalize them through the diplomacy screen. Be wary that you don't get the option to vassalize them if you conquer Hoki. With this, you have secured a bit of territory from which you can launch your attack on the Kyushu lands. Don't forget to either ally or vassalize the Kikawa, so your eastern borders are secure. After taking Kyushu lands, make sure you start making as much trade deals as possible, and take over all the nearby trade nodes. This will set you up economically to conquer the rest of Japan. In conclusion, the Mori clan is the only clan which can feasibly dominate the seas, both through their location and the naval clan variants. Also, the Mori Waka Raiders will definitely help with land battles, and it's worthwhile to recruit them. It can be tricky to get started, but after surviving the initial difficulty hump, it will be smooth sailing. Thank you for watching.